hey, these are probably the two best enduro dual sport motorcycles on the market today for the price. Yeah, you're not going to break the bank if you want one of these. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it on the Rant and Ride. Look what happened. I woke up in a big old pound of money. Hey, all you KTM guys, come on. I'm Team Warren. Don't think I'm coming down on the I, on the other hand, and you, on the other hand, and a lot of people, on the other hand. So why don't we have a 450? But here's my thinking. Hey, what is up, guys? What's going on? Joe here, 690ADB, 690ADB.com. Thanks for stopping in. Friday Rant and Ride. Don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, smash that like button, be part of it. Don't forget to go to our website, 690ADB.com, and sign up so that you are in on all and any future giveaways if you're not in you don't win that's just the way it works anyway we are talking about enduros that are not too expensive that are pretty much high performance and not only that they're not going to break the bank <laughs> they're not going to break the bank so yeah let's get into that and let's talk about it if you haven't figured out what bikes we're talking about, yeah, we're talking about SWM again. And if you know anything about SWM, I know the Australians know quite a bit about it, and they talk highly about them. You tell me down below what you think, because I want to know. Because, man, they're here in the States, and I'm getting kind of excited. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm getting kind of excited about it. So SWM, what bikes are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the Enduros. I don't care about that adventure bike. That thing's too big, man. Let's go light. Let's go tight. Let's do it right. The RS 300R and the RS 500R. Man, those bikes are sexy looking. On screen, yeah. Those some nice looking bikes. I own either one of them. And I tell you what, you can't beat them. And when you're talking about weight classifications, if you own a bigger bike and you're thinking about maybe getting another bike, man, you might want to look into these. I'm telling you, you want to shave some weight, you definitely could do it on these bikes. And not only that, again, you ain't going to break the bank with these bikes. What are we talking about shaving weight? Yeah, we're going to shave that weight. 200 and around 40 to 245 pounds on that 300 in about 250 to 255 pounds on that 500. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. That is shaving a lot of weight. 690, 308 dry, about 335 wet. Do the math on that. This baby will do the business. You know that'll do the business. So, if you don't know much about SWM, let's talk about, well, how did it get started? SWM started from the old Husqvarna platform. So what they did is after KTM took over those Husky old frames and engine parts and all that stuff they took over. Genius. Great proven bulletproof platform. Really, really, really good stuff. You get a lot of guys to talk highly about it. So where did they come from? Yeah. From the 300 TE and the 500 TE like a 310 and a 510 or something like that I'm sure people will put that down in the comments so and if you do know let me know because I just think that these bikes are something else they just fit the part they look the part they are sexy sexy looking bikes I'm not gonna lie to you now fuel yep they're pretty close yeah they're very similar in in, in how both bikes are built same amount of fuel, two gallons of fuel. That's not bad. That's pretty darn good. Two gallons of fuel, yeah, I'll take it. That'll allow you to get down and do some fun. And that keeps that weight down too, which is really, really nice. Height, man, you can't beat the ground clearance. We're talking 11.8 inches of clearance. That's more than a KTM 690, and it's on par for a KTM 500 EXCF. That's pretty darn good how this is going to separate at the end of this video so stick around is the price and that's the best part 
but we're going to talk more about these bikes and why you might want to look into it even if you already own some bikes but not only that maybe you're looking to get into it but you don't want an adventure bike and you don't want to spend eleven thousand twelve thousand dollars on a ktm 690. yeah these are definitely something you might want to look into yeah they're tall 37 inch seat height but that's okay you just have to deal with it you know what if you're just not a very tall person, figure it out, man. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can make it happen. It has adjustable suspension on it. That's nice. You find that on the more expensive bikes, which is really cool. Hydraulic assisted clutch. Easy pull. That's nice when you're shifting and you're off-road and when you're on-road. Very, very cool. You find that in the more expensive bikes, you know? So like I said, any of you SWM owners out there, if you own a 300 or a 500, man, please tell me about it. I really, really, really would love to hear your opinion on it down below in the comments for other riders because they, I'm telling you, there's going to be some interest on these bikes and a lot of people don't even know that they're out there. So that's what this channel is about, to bring, you know, stuff up from the bottom when you don't know about it. These are six-speed bikes, so they got a six-speed transmission. They're fuel-injected. How cool is that? That's really nice. And at two gallons, it's going to get pretty good. It's going to get pretty good gas mileage. You know it is. It, it, it has to. And at that weight, man, 235, 240, 250 for the 500, man, what a deal. Yeah, they got blinkers, horns, the whole nine yards. Street legal in 50 states. Yeah, street legal. So these things are ready to go out of the box. Really, really nice. You can't beat that. That is nice. So you can just get on it and go ride and do your business. They share the same tire size, 21 inch front, 18 inch rear. That is the perfect setup. I don't care what anyone says. All of the Enduros, all the dirt bikes, that's perfect. And it also opens up all of those wonderful tires if you want to go buy them. So, very cool on that. Trying not to get ran over here. Maintenance intervals, not totally fantastic, but not horrible. Better than the CRF 450L. Yeah, about 1,300 miles on your maintenance intervals, your oil changes. That's not bad, because the 450 is around seven to 800 miles, so that's almost about a 70% increase on that bike. So you can actually get out and you can do some trips on it. And it doesn't hold a ton of oil. I think 1.7 liters, which is not that much. So, with that being said, the SWM, the RS300R and the RS500, man, I'm telling you right now, these bikes definitely need to get a look. The Australians uh, really like them, and I know that they're sharing that Husky uh, old stuff, but it's not that they're old. Guess what? They've all been updated. <laughs> They've all been updated. So, it is it is old, but it's new. So, you might want to give them a look. If you're thinking about getting another bike, and you don't want to break the bank, yeah, price is coming. That 374.95, really 74.95 for a high-performance enduro street legal bike. That's a deal. I don't care what you say. That's just a deal. The SWM 500R 77.49. Man, are you kidding me? Here's the deal. Compared to other enduro bikes that are out there that are street legal. We're talking Beta, KTM, any of those bikes right there, the CRF 450L, any of those bikes, you're not touching them for less than roughly $10,000 and up. So to be quite honest with you, if you are thinking about getting a bike and you want a bike that will get out and do the business like for real, these bikes will do it. Are they KTM 500s? No, they're not. Are they Husqvarna 501s? They are not. Are they the KTM 300? They are not. 
And that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is these bikes will handle the business. The weight is right. The price is just ridiculous right. And I can tell you right now that if you're looking to buy a bike with the amount that you will save, which is going to be roughly about $3,000 across the board, for one of these bikes versus the other ones, I can tell you right now, you win. You cannot lose with one of these SWMs. And they're here in the United States. They're not everywhere, but man, they're built on a very proven platform. And I can tell you right now, they're gonna be some good bikes. So if you know about these bikes, comment down below, let everyone else know and help everyone out. Cause that's what the channel's about. It's not about one person, it's about everybody. We are building a community and that is what we are trying to do. So, anyway, got to get some fuel. The old KTM about pushing time. I appreciate you. I can't tell you how much I thank all of you guys for your time and stepping in and just spending a few minutes on the, uh, the rant and ride. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You guys have a fantastic week. Enjoy your Memorial Weekend and be safe. Thank you so much. I'm Joe, 690 out.